Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths Level. This is the Applied Practice Paper F. Here we're on question 5, a hypothesis testing question. So a single observation x is taken from a binomial distribution with 20 trials and an unknown probability. This observation is used to test the hypothesis that our probability is 0.3 against an alternative hypothesis that's, equal to, that's not equal to 0.3. So let's give it a context here. So let's say that we have a coin with an unknown bias attached to it. And we think that that bias might be 0.3 towards heads. So in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to flip our coin 20 times. And we're going to record the number of outcomes of heads. Um, X will be our outcome here. So X is the number of times out of 20 that we flip our coin and get heads. 6 would probably be the most likely outcome here, but it's more than acceptable for there to have been 5 heads or 7 heads, probably acceptable for there to be 4 heads or 7 heads. What we're going to look for in this question here is the unacceptable values where we think that actually that's gone too low, maybe no heads appearing or just one head appearing, that's too low. I don't think the probability is actually 0.3 or maybe it's too high, say if you get 15 heads out of that 20 your probability is not likely to be 0.3. OK, so under the null hypothesis, where the binomial distribution of 20 and 0.3, using a 5% significance level, find the critical region for this test. You should state the probability of, re of rejection in each tail. Um, it should be less than, than 2.5. So let's think of a probability scale here where we have 0% down the bottom and 100% at the top. Now what we want here, let's put markers at 2.5% and 97.5%. What we're looking for here is the values on the outcomes of heads where the probability of that happening or the probability up to that event happening is going to be less than 2.5%, so 0.025. Um, and what we're looking for as well is a value up here for x where the probability of tossing a coin and getting so many heads um, gives us a probability that's more than 97.5%. Uh, Whoops, 0.975. OK, so on the lower end of the tail, we'll use our calculator to do all of this question, actually. Um, so what we're effectively saying is that any region, any outcome for heads that's in between 2.5% likely to, to, to up to 95% likely, so I would expect 6 here to have a probability of up to 6 of 0.5, that'd be absolutely fine. So looking on your calculator, go into menu option number 7, scrolling down once, you'll get the binomial cumulative distribution. Now what we want here is a list of all of the probabilities up until that amount of heads. So type in all the numbers here from 0 down to 20, and then input your binomial distribution. So we've got 20 flips of the coin with a suspected probability of 0.3. Now what we're looking for first is the highest value of x where the probability up until that value of x is less than uh, 0.25. So for example if we were going up until 1, so this is effectively the probability of flipping 0 or just 1 head, that's a very low probability 0.0076. Uh, but the probability of flipping two heads, or zero head, one head, or two heads, is equal to 0 0.0354. Now this one here, this is too big. This is more than 2.5%. So this is what we're going to have to take as our um, value, as our lowest bound of x. So one here, if we get one head out of 20 then it's probably not going to have a probability of 0.3, or if it's 0 as well, it's probably not going to have a probability of 0.3. Now if we scroll down on our calculator here, so scroll down using that down arrow, we get down to the higher probabilities. So for example here, if we 
look for a probability where we're looking up to and including nine heads out of flipping our coins 20 times, we get 0 0.952. This is still too low, however, we're looking for 97.5. So the probability of less than or equal to 10 is equal to 0 0.9828. So that's to say that if we were to flip our coin uh, 20 times and score a amount of uh, heads that's less than or equal to 10, there's a very high chance that that will happen, 0 0.9825. So therefore, the probability of 11, um, 11 heads or more is very unlikely in that respect, so it'd be 0 0.0172. So the probability of flipping a coin 20 times and getting 11 heads or more is very low. So we'd be suspicious if that happened. Say we got 15 heads out of 20 flips of the coin. We'd be very suspicious of that probability or that bias being 0 0.3. The probability of it happening is very, very low. So the critical region here contains all of the values for flipping a coin and getting heads, all of these values for x, where we would be suspicious that our probability is not 0 0.3. So in this case here, it's the values for x, whoops, let's start again, for x that is less than or equal to 1, or it's the, in, so it's the union of all of the values of x that are greater than 11, greater than or equal to 11. So that's to say that if we were to um, score a um, amount of heads out of 20 flips of 0 heads, 1 heads, or 11 heads or more, then we would be suspicious of our probability uh, being 0 0.3. But anything in between, we wouldn't be suspicious. So if, say, we only got 2 heads out of those 20 flips, um, it would be within 95% likely that that could happen. Okay, moving on to part B now. So state the actual significance level of this test. Well, the significance level is going to be the probability of the lower tail add the probability of the upper tail, so 0 0.0172, and add them together here, and you're going to get 0 0.0247. 0 0.0247. Okay, so part C now. Given that the actual value of x obtained is 3, state a conclusion that can be drawn based on the value giving a reason for your answer. Okay, so 3, that's not in our critical region. That's in between 2 and 10, where we would happily accept that our probability is 0 0.3. But we don't phrase it like that, unfortunately, in statistics. What we do is we say that there's not sufficient evidence to reject the probability equaling 0 0.3. It could be something different, but we haven't got a, um, any evidence to suspect that it's something different. So, um, so now we need to give a reason for your answer. Um, so the answer here they're looking for is there is insufficient evidence at the 5% level to suggest that the value of p is not 0.3. So effectively we've got a double negative there. Insufficient evidence that the value of p is not 0.3. So in layman speak, the, the answer here is um, we we are happy with the probability of 0.3. We wouldn't be suspicious if we were to only get three heads out of 20 flips of a coin, but you can't phrase it like that in probability. Make sure you get the phrasing of that um, answer correct. Okay, six marks for that question.